Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the eviction process in Florida? The eviction process in Florida involves several key steps. First, the landlord must provide the tenant with a written notice. This notice can be a three-day notice for non-payment of rent. Alternatively, it can be a seven-day notice for lease violations. If the tenant does not comply within the notice period, the landlord can file an eviction lawsuit. This lawsuit is known as an unlawful detainer's action. And then next, the landlord must file a complaint with the county court. The tenant will receive a summons and a copy of the complaint. The tenant has five days to respond to the summons. If the tenant does not respond, the landlord can request a default judgment. If the tenant responds, a court hearing will be scheduled. And then at the hearing, both parties can present their case. If the court rules in favor of the landlord, a final judgment of eviction is issued. The landlord can then obtain a writ of possession. This writ allows the sheriff to remove the tenant from the property. The sheriff will post a 24-hour notice on the property before removal. Day in throughout the process, it is important to follow Florida state laws and local regulations. Failure to do so can result in delays or dismissal of the eviction case. Legal representation is advisable for both landlords and tenants. This ensures that their rights are protected during the process. N. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.